Welcome back to Manchishi Life Funding. In this episode, I want to show you how you can create uh, something that looks like a like a 3D drone show. You might have seen uh, something like this uh, yourself. Um, the other day, I actually saw uh, this drone show. Um, it was created using 600 drones. Uh, I mean, this is the simple one. It's a uh, Kenny from South Park, and the animation is actually really simple. There's a obviously like bunch of drones flying there and then uh, it creates this simple drawings and there's a bit of animation there of the light okay the animation of the light is what's actually more important the, but I'm at the moment only working on the, how to create the shapes and this is another example this time it is actually uh, a little bit more like 3d you see how it's taking a shape and then suddenly it appears it looks like 3d but it's actually more like a occluded uh, 3d so it's all only looking you only it's only looking like uh, like this from one side I don't know I think from the other side or from the side view it won't be as good but it is animated and it's uh, anyway so this is Suzanne and this is the same uh, I think similar Kind of techniques it's only looking good from the right angle which is the camera you can move slightly you can be at different position it looks like 3d but still it's just kind of like uh, occluded and how did I create this I use a uh, line art you might already know we have line art features in blender and actually Suzanne is actually animated here and um, the this light that's being generated using geometry nodes should follow the line art currently it's kind of off um, that's because with Spherchalk nodes we need to switch the preference to the pots and I think I think that should work now you see so basically we create a line art uh, and then we kind of bake it we bake the line art so it can be read on every frame and then from the bake line art we can bring it into Spherchalk and we simply uh, turn it into polygon edge and then we send it to geometry nodes and turn it into this kind of light okay so it's a bit of steps it's not that complicated actually so this is the geometry nodes uh, the currently it's uh, maybe I think that ideally when when the objects get actually moving around like this it's not flickering so much because it's actually each of the points should be represented by a single drone in the sky for example so but anyway, I, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you how I created this from scratch, so it makes sense. Delete everything, create Suzanne, and save this as drone like. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Okay, so let's create a um, camera view align active camera to view. So we have our camera file save. And I'm gonna put Suzanne into a new collections, and then I will F3 and create line art, collection line art. Okay, so we start to see something. So the line art is a grease pencil modifier that's working on the fly. It's gonna, I'll set, I'll set it to collection two, which is Suzanne. So this is the default line art. Suzanne is not animating at the moment. I will just animate Suzanne quickly. So imagine this imagine this is like a drone and you look looking at the drone shapes from one angle. Okay. Now we have Suzanne animated and the line art is occluded uh, art that's actually only visible from one side okay from one angle 
from a single position. So imagine this is drawn on the sky, but the drone doesn't draw lines, right? It's it's like a dots, okay, like a dotted line. So we can kind of simulate that. Um, first of all, we can control the occlusion a little bit. I mean, you, if you want to have more occlusion or not, maybe just a little bit, it's up to you. Um, the style also doesn't matter for now. It's the edge type that's matter. You want to have the contour, some of these intersection maybe off, crease, yeah, you can adjust this crease until it's you okay that's probably represent Suzanne we can turn off the source of Suzanne I mean it's still gonna work because we are using this collection and we hide the collections so the line art works right and we just need to bake bake the line art after we bake it now this is actually something that Sverchok can read and you you will see right away uh, Shift A, GP. I'm using the grease pencil loader. This is spare chop thing, and set it to active frame and plug this into the frame. We already have something going on there. Okay. It's the the dotted lines, and the output is this uh, viewer draw. I can set this to different points. Anyway, it's doing it on the fly, and we're gonna save this. Yeah, it's starting to take a bit of shapes, which is pretty cool. Uh, we, I'm just gonna merge all the edges. So we have the shape of Suzanne, just like an outline. This is being processed on the fly by Sverchok. So keep that in mind. The next thing I will do is using geometry nodes create new so I'm operating on this mesh well save as I'm gonna turn this mesh into curve so now this is a curve and we can resemble the curve I believe that's what I was doing we can control the counts of the curve so we know exactly if you want to have like 100 drones you get this and then mesh to points okay it's complaining oh okay the input is actually a curve okay curve to points okay boom okay we have now control over the number of points and uh, the number of drones that's floating I mean, it's, it's not 100% perfect, but uh, it's getting there. We can use the length. The length is probably more stable. It, it tries to maintain the number of points along the lines. So more or less, this is the technique. Okay. okay imagine we have just a bunch of drones flying. The drone, of course, doesn't stay static like this. It doesn't look quite correct. So you might want to have like a bit of noise. Just, uh, we're gonna use this the technique using vector noise and we're gonna normalize this vector noise and we're gonna multiply this by scale. So it's animating a little bit like an like a real drone. Just slightly and then you use frame time frame plug this into the w so it should animate just a little bit okay so currently this is a point we can render the point as using cycles but i will i want to render this as ev and using bloom um, I will set this material, uh, set a material into this guy and set the material with emissions, with emission strength. So we, when we render, we're going to see the glow. Oh, currently this is just a point, so it doesn't, of course it doesn't render. So we need to instance some objects to the points. 
we can use icosphere plug this into the as instance there you go now we should be able to render this okay so that's basically the techniques and it's it's not so bad right it's pretty simple so there's a noise operating on this guy a little bit uh, it's moving I mean not too much maybe just I don't know maybe just adjust this slightly have a bit of motions with the drones and then for the sky if it's nighttime kind of a little bit bluish and there we go there's a bit of glitch there right no no it's 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 pretty good and uh we can adjust the shape the size of the drone sort of using the point radius actually we don't need the point radius we can set instance uh, scale make it smaller looking more a bit a little bit more like drones maybe just random value yeah I mean if it's random value it's looking more like a stars but sometimes the drone may be at different space anyway in the sky so it's probably looking a little bit like that more or less so it's 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 flickering sometimes you maybe the drone is kind of taking shape and then making the shape of Suzanne okay so yeah, that's kind of and you're looking at it from far away and yeah you get the idea maybe you you want to animate the scale so just pipe this out into group input so let's say you at the beginning of the show the drone is all over the place keyframe it and it's starting to take a shape 0 0.01 0 0.03 keyframe so you have this you have these animations the drone becoming Susan head oh yeah there's a glitch there this maybe gris, gris pencil thing or sferto um, let's check the graph editor and maybe this should be more linear uh, key interpolations linear so here you go this is the drone show control option spacebar full screen there um, yeah there's a glitch there I can see that it's not 100% perfect but the idea is there I think there's probably like a missing uh, something missing but the idea is to have try to maintain the position of the drone so it doesn't actually flicker um, so it needs to have the same number um, but anyway for now it's kind of okay just want to show you the techniques you can have random color for each drone because it's like a oh yeah by the way the show was actually from uh, this is actually from vivid festival that's currently still going on in sydney yeah i think that the use of color is really interesting and yeah the 3d because this is kind of more or less like static but it's actually animating a little bit it's cute um, but yeah you you can recreate that using blender i mean currently it's not perfect but it's kind of kind of there it's just maybe we need to bake this out and then resample the points and ensure the point is as close as possible and then so it doesn't change it doesn't flicker that's uh, what I want I want to say if you don't want to flicker at all I think maybe random value should be off so yeah, this is probably better let's see it's taking the place taking the shapes 
and maybe add a little bit of noise so it's oh okay maybe it's wiggling too much maybe just a small value keyframe yeah I think this is probably better maybe Suzanne is moving too much and near the end of the show it should animate a little bit probably there's a another way to do the same thing using maybe using like a particle system drone is interesting anyway if you can control like uh, 1000 drone for example even like 100 drones it's a it's a tricky thing but um, yeah you basically want the drones to follow the shapes I think geometry nodes can actually do that so the idea is uh, if you have like a grease pencil if you draw like a grease pencil let's see create grease pencil blank and start drawing from a certain angle say you want to interpolate the points from here into a different angle there is actually a tutorial on this it's almost like a uh, flash animations and you want to kind of interpolate between the two uh, yeah I think you can do that with Gris pencil anyway I'm not gonna do that um, but take a look at that and then we're gonna we can recreate this kind of effects all right so thanks again for tuning in hopefully you find this useful and I'll see you next time thank you bye